Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by a benign and a malignant tumour. You should then be able to describe the risk factors for cancers. In a previous video we looked at cell division by mitosis. Remember that in mitosis one cell is copied into two cells like this. Now cell division by mitosis occurs all over the body, especially during growth and during repair, for example after an injury. The key fact about mitosis is that it's extremely tightly controlled. Genes in the nucleus tell cells when to divide and then when to stop dividing. Now sometimes changes take place in these genes and that leads to uncontrolled growth and mitosis. This produces a tumour, which is another word for a growth. There are two different types of tumour. These are called benign and malignant. We're going to start by looking at benign tumours. Benign tumours are growths of abnormal cells which are found in one area. Benign tumours are usually contained within a membrane. Now the key feature of benign tumours is that they do not invade other parts of the body. In other words, they stay in one place. Malignant tumours are different to benign tumours. Malignant cells invade neighbouring tissues and then they move into the bloodstream like this. Now a key fact is that malignant tumour cells are classed as a cancer. Once in the bloodstream, the malignant cells spread to different parts of the body and they form new tumours. Scientists call these new tumours secondary tumours. This shows the secondary tumours in a patient with prostate cancer. Now there are certain risk factors for developing cancer. Some cancers are genetic. In other words, we inherit an increased risk of these cancers from our parents. Good examples of these are certain types of breast cancer, prostate cancer, and cancer of the large intestine. Other cancers are linked to our lifestyle. For example, lung cancer is linked to smoking. Skin cancer is linked to exposure to ultraviolet light, such as sunbathing. And mouth and throat cancer are linked to drinking alcohol. Certain cancers are caused by substances in our environment. And a good example of this is radon. Radon is a radioactive gas which increases your risk of developing lung cancer. That's because radon releases ionizing radiation and this damages the DNA in our cells. This can cause our cells to undergo uncontrolled cell division, leading to cancer. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on cancer in my vision workbook, which you can get by clicking on the link above. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to describe what's meant by a benign and a malignant tumour. You should then be able to describe the risk factors for cancers.